Hey, all you poets and wizards out there. Today I'm going to share a few of the poems that people have sent me. And I am just so grateful that they have given their okay for me to do this and that they've written these amazing poems and that I get to share them with you. And maybe it'll inspire you to go back and start from the beginning or go on to the next session. I'm putting a few more up this week. So, so this one is by a boy named Dayu. I think he's nine. I'm not quite sure how old he is. Um, he calls it his peaceful poem. I like that. And it goes like this. It doesn't start totally peaceful. I am a monkey that is energetic in the forest. I am a fluffy dog that everybody loves. I am a pretty butterfly flying through the world. I am a fat squirrel that is getting ready to hibernate. I am a cute mouse that likes to eat cheese. I am a gentle snowflake falling to the ground and making it all white. I am green so the trees can grow and all of us can breathe. I am the blue water where animals can swim. I am seaweed in the water tickling people's toes. I am a stream going downhill. I am a sun rising through the sky. From Dayu. Thank you, Dayu. And this is Olivia. <clears throat> and she's from a school I've been teaching in. And she called this The Beautiful Things I Can Be. I am a porcupine camouflaging by a cactus. I am a pig rolling around in the mud, getting dirty. I am a platypus building a dam by a lake. I am a squirrel running up a tree, looking for an acorn. I am an elephant bathing with my long trunk. I am a horse eating hay by my barn. I am a mountain goat walking up a tall mountain with rocks and my hooves. The Beautiful Things I Can Be by Olivia. Here's one by Andre, also from a school I teach at. I am a saber-toothed tiger rolling in the snow. I'm a husky dressed like a knight for Halloween. I'm a penguin gliding on ice. I'm a fox running down a hill. I'm a jaguar trying to catch up my prey. And I love the shh of the ocean. So he put two of our lessons together, didn't he? He used the onomatopoeia, the sound of the ocean and what sounds he loved. And he also let himself be a wizard and turn into many things. Let's try. Oh, this one also. Look at this. So this isn't just animals. Remember how we first we did animals. We turned ourselves. And then we thought, well, we could turn ourselves into lots of things. So this is this one by Abril Morales. It goes, I'm a cloud floating in the sky. I'm a pie warming in the oven. I'm a fresh coffee in the morning. I'm a hot chocolate with marshmallows. I can feel the water when I'm swimming. I can feel the cool ice cream when I lick it. That's from Abril. <clears throat> Here's one by Mariam. She's age nine. She calls this Earth's Wonders. I'm a small, fuzzy, brown bear tasting sticky honey and tart berries. And they got a lot of texture in that one. <clears throat> I am a sparkling acorn. Sh I'm sorry, unicorn. I'll start over. <laughs> that was an interesting one, but not as nearly as good as this one. I am a sparkling unicorn shining in the sun under a bright, colorful rainbow. I am a gray whale spinning and splashing under the waves. I'm a lazy dog sleeping on a soft pillow. I'm a butterfly smelling the sweet scent of pink and yellow flowers. I am a cold white snowflake fluttering down to a child's mitten. I am the deep purple of a juicy plum. I'm the sound of bells chiming, whistling through the night. I am a big, tall redwood tree shooting up to the sky with my 
dim green leaves rustling in the shadows. I'm a stream floating over the rough gray rocks and pebbles. I am the toasty warm light of the fireplace during those bright fun holidays. Earth's Wonders by Miriam. And here's one by Tabitha, age 11. All my connections. Mm, this is such a good time to remember our connections, even if we think we're social distancing, we are, but we're connected, maybe even deeper now to the things that mean something to us that we care about. All My Connections by Tabitha, age 11. I am a gazelle leaping across a grassy plain. I'm a gentle spring breeze softly brushing a child's cheek. I am the soft gray of a dewy morning sky. I am the silence of a huge redwood tree. I am a single wildflower opening my deep purple petals into the sun. I am an iceberg, my frozen water waiting to slowly melt into the salty sea. I am the sunlight reflecting off a shimmering mountain And their mama, Miriam and Tabitha's mama, wrote this poem. Her name is Melina, Love Letter to the Soul. I love that title, Love Letter to the Soul. I'm a blackbird soaring and swooping in the sky. I'm a leaping frog splashing through tiny puddles. I'm a seal bobbing under and over the rolling waves. I'm a butterfly dancing in the wind, searching for brightly colored flowers. I'm a prancing puppy, frolicking in the sweet grass and warm sunlight. I am a trickling rain, drip dropping in a musical rhythm. I am the yellow of a golden morning, warming my face. I am the sound of the forest at dusk, rustling the soft wind and evening's creatures. I am the honeysuckle, filling the air with my sweet perfume. I am an ocean wave, moving and crashing on the sand. I am the light of the moon high in the sky, bathing the world in my magical glow. And these two are by a five-year-old. Her name is Maya, Maya Grace DeVal. The first one she called The Imagination. I am the happy elephant smelling flowers in a garden. I am the red lion finding fairies in fairyland. I am the funny turtle flying across the sky making shapes with the clouds. I'm going to read that one again. I am the funny turtle flying across the sky, making shapes with the clouds. I am the hungry hippo trying to reach a bowl of food in the kitchen. I am a very furry, very fluffy dog trying to find my toy in the garden. And this one she called fairy tales. I am the, this is also by Maya. Age five. <clears throat> I am the pink sun and the spiral clouds of the twilight sky. I am the sound of bells ringing to our family and telling them I love you. I am the rose growing on the bush starting to bloom. I am the calm blue lake shining in the sun. I am the light of the beautiful morning sun shining on the world. And that's it for now. So I hope you enjoyed these. They took me to wonderful places and uh, we'll have a new lesson again. I think it'll be up tomorrow and uh, maybe one for uh, teenage, bored teenagers is the title. Bored teenagers take heart and one also a, a journey, a poetic journey for kids. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye.